From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. I'm Dee O'Reilly. Temperatures won't get out of the 60s today. Greg D will have your full forecast coming up. But first, I want to get to your ABC Action News headlines. A former Pasco County teacher is under arrest for having child porn on his computer. The sheriff's office tells us employees at a Best Buy's Geek Squad found the disturbing images on William Crawford's laptop when he took it in for repairs. He taught at Dr. John Long Middle School in Wesley Chapel before resigning. Crawford reportedly confessed to detectives. The man driving the truck that crashed into the Sarasota Bradenton International Airport last month is still in the hospital. Troopers say he is awake, but he's showing no signs of awareness. Investigators are still eager to question him. That truck plowed right through the middle of the airport's baggage claim, stopping just short of hitting a woman working at a rental car desk. Hundreds of Puerto Ricans are homeless after 11 days of earthquakes. Some on the island were forced to sleep outside overnight. Yesterday, 6.4 magnitude quake damaged the gym that they sought shelter in. Right now, hundreds of homes and three schools in southwestern Puerto Rico are damaged or destroyed. President Trump just signed an emergency declaration allowing the island to receive federal aid. Officials marked a major step in the development of downtown Tampa's Water Street District. A ribbon cutting ceremony was held this morning for the U.S. South Health Morsani College of Medicine and Heart Institute. The state of the art building is 13 stories high. It has space for 1800 students, faculty, researchers and staff. Classes for the medical program start there next week. Sarasota city leaders are considering charging businesses a registration fee to sell vaping products. The mayor says the city would use the money to enforce the federal ban on certain vape flavors and the increased vaping age. If leaders move forward with the registration idea, the city attorney and the police department will decide how it's going to work. The search for a new superintendent in Hillsborough County now down to eight candidates. They include two people already working within Hillsborough County schools, three current superintendents, a college professor, and two other leaders from school districts across the country. Board members are planning to conduct interviews with the semifinalists next week. Now here's Greg with a forecast. One more cool day, Dia, as we go through this afternoon. High temperatures are not going to make it out of the 60s today, just uh, in the upper 60s for the afternoon. We're going to keep a nice north breeze around too. That will make it feel cooler if you're in the shade. And it'll also supply us a lot of dry air that will be stick around, sticking around for much of the afternoon. Not only are the temperatures increasing this weekend, so is the humidity. Take a look at your extended forecast. It's posted now in the ABC Action News app. Dia. All right, thank you, Greg. You can now get news all day long on your favorite streaming device. Just download the free ABC Action News app on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, or Apple TV.